and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. My name is Lilith and welcome to the very first video of 2022. So I've been working on getting my New Year's planning done, my goals, my vision board, all of that good stuff. We're actually going to make a vision board a little later on in this video. I have all the pictures picked out on Pinterest and we're going to put them together into a image on my computer so that I can use it in my background and my screensaver and stuff like that. But first I want to talk a little bit about how switching from bullet journaling to Notion has been the best thing I have ever done for my planning. I always really liked the idea of bullet journaling but I was never ever consistent with it. I've been trying to bullet journal since like 2017-2018. It has been a long time and I've never been consistent with it for an entire year. So last year, last uh, end of January, I believe, I found Notion and I started setting it up and I can honestly say that I have used it consistently every single day, every single week for an entire year. It is the only thing that has actually gotten me to stick with it and work with it and I love it. One of the things I really like about it is it it's like a bullet journal, but it's all digital, and if y'all have been watching my channel for a few years, you know that all of my bullet journals have been digital, they've all been in GoodNote, so I'm very much a digital-based person, and I feel like Notion is just the easiest way for me to build and change and grow and evolve without having to do a load of work or trying to make things pretty. Or even in the past when I tried to do super basic bullet journals, I would still have to set up the charts and the graphs and the this and the that. All the things. Whereas on Notion it feels like I can just set that kind of stuff up so quickly and move on with my life, get my planning done, and not have to worry about anything extra. Granted, I do worry about extra sometimes. I love to make sure that like everything has a little emoji and that like all the color cover photos are like pretty gifts and that is something that's ever evolving as well and that I'm constantly working on. My notion is not by any means perfect and I think that's one of the things this year that really held me back was I wanted to make my notion perfect so that I could give you this pretty template and that's just not how it is right now and I don't have the spoons to make it that way right now. It's an ever evolving planner so what it looks like right now might not be what it looks like a year from now. There are certain things that I have set up that have withstood the entire year and we're going to go over those in a little bit but there are other things that I've deleted because I just don't use them. So have I completely given up bullet journaling? Sort of, not necessarily. I did set up a 2022 cover page I'll put that right here so you can see it as a place where I can handwrite things when and if I need to. I do find that handwriting things before organizing them into Notion can be really helpful for me when it comes to like scheduling or just trying to organize all my thoughts. I can just drop, jot down all of my thoughts and then I can organize them. I kind of do this with my journal as well where I will be writing and then I'll have inspiration to like plan something while I'm writing or my thoughts will finally start to like come into clear like linear organization and so I will end up like organizing within my journal so my journal doesn't look just like a block of text it'll be like a block of text and then it'll be like some bullet notes and like some numbers or some like times of the day and then it will be a block of text and then it will be like some notes over here like my bro my my journal gets messy but it's super helpful and then after I'm done journaling once all my thoughts are kind of you know out of my head and on paper and a little more organized I'm able to like do something with that information and really put it into practice really like go back and look at it and really organize my life so that's kind of what I did with this page right here I started the bullet journal and then immediately moved to the next page and just wrote down kind of what I wanted my schedule to be that way I could then move it over into Notion into like a chart and make it really pretty. I've been really struggling this year to 
feel motivated to get organized and to get planned. And I was journaling this morning and I think I figured out the reasons why. And figuring out those reasons have really helped me to kind of get over that challenge or live with that challenge and know what steps I need to take moving forward to overcome that challenge. One of the things is usually I start planning for the new year before the new year and this year I did not. I was just incredibly busy over the holiday months. I had new partners and we were hanging out with them all the time and having a lot of fun and relaxing which is great and what I really needed but I didn't focus on planning my life for the new year at I also didn't work out for a couple of weeks over Christmas and New Year's. I didn't have any type of sleep schedule. I really was just like chilling, which is like amazing. You need to do that sometimes, but also like my brain was not in the like planning New Year hype mode as I am trying to get myself into now. One of the things I do to do that though is to watch these planning with me videos and stuff like that really really helps me so I've been watching a ton of those here on YouTube. Another thing that I think contributed to me not being in the right mindset to plan this year is that I didn't really do a whole lot of goal setting or vision board or really anything last year. So at the beginning of 2020 I made my first vision board, I put it on my as my home screen on my computer and I noticed that I was looking at these like really colorful healthy foods on my screen every day and I was eating a whole lot better and I was more focused on my goals and even though like a lot of those things didn't happen because the uh, panorama, I still was felt like I was working towards those things. And then when 2021 rolled around, I didn't really do any of the like New Year's goals. I was finally working for myself and I thought, well, I have like a little schedule that I kind of want to keep and I didn't really set any real solid tangible goals with like time limits. So it's really hard to set up new goals for the new year when you can't look back on what you did the previous year and you don't know where you're coming from. You don't, you don't know where or how to go if you don't know where you're starting. So if you can look back over 2021 look back at your goals, see what you accomplished, see what you didn't, and then start setting up for the new year. So that's why I'm making a vision board this year because I found that it really, really helped me focus on my goals. And while I feel like I probably am forgetting to put some stuff on there, I can evolve it throughout the year if I need to. And for right now, I'm just going to go and put a whole bunch of pictures on it. Lastly, while I didn't have any particular goals or anything like that to look back on, I did have an archive of all of my to-do list. So I was able to go back through that and glance at that and scroll down for so long to see all of the things that I checked off in the year, all of the things that I did. I started using Notion at the end of January, so I was able to go back and basically see the entire year as one long checked off to-do list, which is so satisfying. Okay, let's do planning stuff first, and then we'll do the vision board. Yeah, okay, over to the computer. <sighs> okay, I am losing sunlight fast, but we've got some ring lights and some computer screens around me for an up light, so let's get through the rest of this video before we lose all of our light. Well, honestly, we've basically lost it all, but you know, artificial light. Okay. Anyways, welcome to my notion. This is not the first time you guys have seen this, uh, but it does look a little bit different than last time. And I'm not going to go through everything, but I'm going to go through the things that I've changed and a couple key points that I want to show y'all. If you hear noise in the background, that's my partner. One of the things that I did this year was actually write down my different schedules. So my weekly routine, my daily routine, my like morning routine, my like getting ready routine, and my evening routine. 
Now, this isn't complete and it's not really finished. Um, I still don't know if I like having this down here or if I want to move it somewhere else. I don't know if I like having this here. I do like having the weekly schedule here. Um, I don't know how I feel about having these two things here so they might move. I also don't know if these times are going to stay consistent. I'm thinking about switching this to 6.30, which let's go ahead and do that. Because waking up at 6 is hard, but 6.30 somehow seems more doable. And of course, there will be, you know, morning routine videos to come with uh, the new year and evening routines and all of that. Saturday is my partner and I's day, so we leave it clear so that we hang out together. Um, right here, this week's to-dos is everything that I need to do for the week, and then I can drag those to-dos down here onto whatever day that they need to go. This table over here will show me things that I need to do today. So because it's Thursday, there's nothing reoccurring on my calendar on Thursdays. But on Mondays, it'll say grocery shop and meal prep. On Sundays, it'll say like plan my meals and my week. On Tuesdays, it'll say fold the laundry, clean the house, that kind of stuff, just to make sure that I have those um, things consistently popping up so that I remember to add them to my to-do list. I use this calendar a bit less uh, than I probably should, and I actually got this from a template, from somebody else's template, so I don't know if that's going to stick around because I have the weekly schedule up here that like shows me everything throughout the week, but we'll see, because there are some things that are like every other week, like I water my plants every other week, and so on the Sunday that I need to water them, it pops up here. And typically on Sunday night is when I like organize all of my to-dos. So I don't really look at this calendar every single day like I should. I usually am just paying attention to like that day's to-dos. We are filming this video right now, so I can go ahead and check it off. And then I'll put next week's to-dos here as I think of stuff that need to get done. Down here is just some side quests and things that like... I want to do but don't really have time to do and aren't like priorities right now. So this is my life hub. The only thing that's really changed is this weekly schedule, daily schedule, morning, getting ready, and evening. Let's go on to my content calendar. This is also a template that I got straight off of Notions templates and I just have edited, edited it as I've needed to. Something that is brand new though for 2022 that I did not do last year is a goals page. And I will link this template down below. I grabbed this template straight from Notion as well. And I'm still kind of learning how to use it. But it basically has your big goals down here, what quarter you want to accomplish them by, what month you want to accomplish it by, and then the steps that you need to take, the bigger projects within that. So one of my biggest things this year is trying to hit that 4,000 watch hours to get monetization. And I didn't want to do any like subscriber goals or follower goals or anything like that because it's more like outside of my control. But what I can control is how much I upload. And so in here is my goals of like how many times a week I want to upload on each type of thing. So Instagram posts, reels, story posts, um, YouTube videos, TikTok videos, TikTok lives, that kind of thing. And I also have in here to move my body four times a week. I need to, you know, work off that Christmas weight, if you know what I'm saying. And I want to be able to go out and have lunch with friends now that, you know, things are open. And so once you put all this in here, it shows you your big projects and what month you want to do that project by. It shows you your next steps, the little action things to get to the project, to get to the goal. So 
like I said, I'm still kind of figuring this template out, uh, and it's a bit complicated. I might end up simplifying it a little bit, but for now, I really like how it gives you the bigger goal, the projects to get to that goal, and the steps within the projects to get that project done. And I feel like it divides it out really well. So then you can see, like, what do I need to get done? You know, each month, this is all the stuff that needs to get done in January. And then I can see all the stuff I need to get done in February. And you can do that with this as well. See all the projects or just which projects you need to do this month or stuff like that. I know that I probably will have more goals. I just can't think of any more at the moment. So this is all I have written down. I also have it linked on my life hub. Okay, that's all I really wanted to show you in my Notion, kind of what has changed, what I've added, what I'm working with. It's very messy right now, I feel like, but it has this setup, this to-do list setup has worked for me for an entire year and nothing has worked with me for an entire year. So I am very excited about this and I'm very excited to continue using this and my meal planner has worked. So I'm going to be showing you guys that in a separate video. All right. And from here, we're going to go ahead and go over to making the vision board. So this is my Pinterest, all the pictures that I've saved for the vision board. I don't know, I don't think we're going to use all of them, but this is everything that I've kind of picked out to save to possibly put on there. Okay, I finally have all the images saved. So, let's move on. Close Pinterest because it's been running so slow and we're going to open up sketch. So that is last, that is 2022's vision board. I'm going to come down here and the first thing I need to do is move all of the photos into here. I think the first thing I'm going to do is like organize these. So food over here yoga, meditation, exercise over here, journaling, reading up here. I want to get a new bicycle when we move into our new house, so I've got a couple pictures of bicycles. Okay, that is all of them. Whew, that's a lot. I'm going to start with the pictures that I absolutely know are going on here, so that one, that one, all right, I think I'm done with it for now, I am going to export it. I like to make mine very colorful. I've seen a lot that are like a lot of white and green, and that's kind of what I did year before last. As you can see up here, it's like still pretty colorful with the food, especially, but a lot of like plants and stuff, which I've got a ton of plants now. And I feel like there's a, a quite a few more pictures going on in this one. But this one I really kept it to. Colorful food, yoga, meditating, working out, workspace, reading, journaling, and I really want a new bike. I just realized that there is this white space. How did I not see this? Hold on. I can fix it. And like I said, I might tweak it a little bit throughout the year, but for now, this looks really good. And looking at all this food, it's dinner time. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go make dinner. Oh my god, I wasn't recording for that whole outro. Fuck, okay. One more time. Thank you guys so much for watching.
forget to check the description box down below for templates and for a discount code for McCart. These are still my Christmas nails. I'm gonna do my winter nails on Saturday, so. New nails next week. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. It will help me so much to reach my New Year's goals. This year we are really, really trying to reach watch hours. So watch another video after this. Let it play through. Be a, help me reach the big goal of the 4,000 watch hours that I've been working towards for two years and they keep dropping my watch hours for some reason. I think you have to get it like within a year or something because I had more, but then they dropped. I don't know what's going on, but stick around if you want to help me reach those goals. I love you guys and I will see y'all next week. Bye y'all.